Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that there's extreme power in trusting in the version of you that you are when nobody's looking. At. That version of you that you are ever so familiar with by yourself. The better relationship you establish with that version of yourself, the more trust you have in that version of yourself. And in the building of that trust, you don't seek validation from the outside, but you find peace and the knowing from the inside. When you have this kind of relationship with self, not only is the peace blissful, but you begin to gain a deeper understanding of who you are, who you believe to, who you believe yourself to be the motives behind your thoughts, your actions. You also get to understand the motives behind others, other people's thoughts and actions. It's not to say we should condemn ourselves or others. It's simply about understanding and finding peace within our understanding. The more one settles into that peace, they don't seek external validation. They don't yearn as much for external understanding because they're operating from a place of knowing. Now it is beautiful, uh, a simply wonderful experience when an outside entity, person, situation, what have you, validates the knowing that you have within. I'm simply here to remind you that the, the power in the relationship with self is way more fulfilling than anything the outside world can give you. I found myself along my journey going deeper and deeper within. And the more I explore and peel back the different layers of myself, I find beauty in the chaos. I begin to understand more of my relationship with uh, order and structure and also the chaos of the world the semi uh, polarities that we witness. I'm beginning to see a more of myself in the times I embrace it, more so often than not. By embrace it, I mean I sit with it. I enjoy it. Uh, if there's a particular emotional reaction, I unpack it. And I allow it to reveal to myself what I'm experiencing within. Now, reading different spiritual texts have been helpful in that. Meditation has been helpful in that. Uh, I enjoy, I thoroughly enjoy reading the Bible. It's been very helpful with that. But going back to the premise of this message is simply about understanding that the keys are within you. The power is within you. We all, at some point, get caught up in the world. That's okay. That's okay. And even seeing those outside of us who were so caught up in the worldly uh, things and ideas that they gain their power from it, it's harder to let go when you gain power that you've never had before. So with that understanding, there's no judgment. It's a simple state of discernment. It's an understanding that it's seemingly working for others, and that's okay. Doesn't mean it has to work for you. Doesn't mean you have to force it. No, simply be you. Trust in who you are. Maneuver your inner reality. Understand the motives behind some of the things that you do desire. This is not about unpacking your entire life. It's about knowing the power that you truly have and the reality that you experience. And knowing that the things that appear to us today are simply manifestations of thoughts from the past. So in knowing that, the more we go within or the more that we gain a better relationship with ourselves and establish more trust within ourselves, then those ideas, thoughts, beliefs, feelings, emotions too will manifest in the future.
We do not choose when it manifests, and that's okay. But find peace in the knowing of who you are and not in the validation of who you are. I think that's a good place to leave it for now. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.